Way up in the Olympic Mountains, things are looking drier than normal this summer. Maureen Ryan is looking for the wet spots. She's a researcher with the University of Washington and an expert on amphibians that live at high elevation. Amphibians like the Cascades frog. So this is a little male Cascades frog. I can tell he's male. Ryan and her team are trying to understand how these frogs use the snowmelt-fed wetlands of the Pacific Northwest. So we've got a female. Okay. And to do that, they've Grabbed. been inserting tiny tags under the frog's skin. 985. Then, over the years, they can tell how the frog's growth and reproduction rates may be impacted by the warming climate. The Cascades frog is only found in the Pacific Northwest, and its habitat is dependent on snowmelt. Ryan and her colleagues worry that ponds like this one won't be available for the frogs in the future. And an example of what we're concerned about, um, you can see here, this is a, a Cascades frog egg mass, this kind of gelatinous mass, and most of the, the tadpoles have actually hatched out, but you can see there are still a few that are left in here, and this egg mass is basically dried out. There's some, some dead embryos here, um, and it's stranded in the sun. So um, one of our concerns is that this kind of thing could happen more often, and also that in the deeper parts of the pond, if those dry up too soon, the tadpoles themselves could be stuck and dried out before they have turned into frogs.